Hello, this video is for uh, introducing you a software, an idea I've got uh, to try to, to create prompt uh, to generate images from a musical. So here we are in the folder of the project. These two files I add, but they don't need. This file is almost enough by himself. Here's the folder where I go all the results usually. Uh, for example, here I, was, I have this wave music. In this music, uh, I was adding two sounds as the seconds uh, here, and we have uh, a dark one. It was to do the experiments, and I propose uh, to create a clip of music uh, using stable diffusion. Uh, which uh, follow the sound. For this, I was developed this software. I will explain you how it works. So to open it, voilà. you need to write uh, Python 3, uh, the name of the software, and you have two parameters to give. The first one is the number of bunch of frequencies uh, you want to have. Uh, here I put five, but I, I can put less. And after it's the frame rate you will have in your video clip. I put 30 because it's a classical. I open it. What you will do? He open the cave wave. So you will have to replace this file uh, by the file you will want to treat. And it give you uh, two schema. Uh, this one of the figure one is uh, um, spectrum of the sound. Here you see it's a short sound, 30 seconds, and uh, here you have the frequency, it goes till 20. Here you have the two sound I was add for the experiment, one here uh, at 8000 and one here at 100. You see that there is only this frequency. Uh, and from this I propose to generate uh, the image. So if I exit this one, after I have this graphical, I was asking five family of uh, frequency, so he go, he, he cut the different family of spectrum and uh, he produce this. Here you have the time in uh, abscess and uh, here in ordonnée you have uh, the volume. It have been normalized uh, for more simplification. So each one is uh, the, the evolution of the volume of uh, this uh, portion, this uh, part of uh, all the frequency from the spectrum. So here you see the one of the 100 and here you see the one of the uh, 8000. I exit this. When you have this, this software open. It's very easy to use. Here you will write your prompt of the image you want. And here uh, the anti-prompt, the negative prompt if you prefer. Uh, here you have many uh, prompt frequencies, the uh, world which will appear depending if uh, there is a big volume of this frequency or not. Uh, if for example here when I was start instead of 5 I was put 10 different one, here I would have 10 different frequency. So it follows a number. So for example here I could ask, uh, I don't know, uh, 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 an army, an army, and after this part will be replaced by this one. If the sound is little, it will not appear. If the sound of this frequency is medium, it will appear normal. And if it's big, it will appear with a weight coefficient to up his uh, influence. So I will not use in uh, anti prompt. What I propose is when the sound is low, I will put something like the red color. And when the sound is high, uh, let's say uh, C5, 10, 4, 10. So it's uh, something between here. I will put something like more blue or green color. But in true, you can put everything you want here. A bird, butterfly, everything you want. Here, so I could put bird. Uh, and butterfly, huh? butterfly. Uh, here I could not put only uh, but fire. 
Here I cannot put only blue but water. You see everything is possible. And here after an army, I will leave it. So I will put uh, I will leave this one after this one after this one. But in true you can uh, articulate uh, your uh, your prompt as you want. I could do an army uh, with and do a sentence with my form. Here, what is interesting, I guess, it's to put 100% of the time in negative what you put in the frequency. As in, like this, if they don't appear, they will be eliminated from from to from. But it's just my theory. In true, uh, I was designing this tool, but uh, I'm not so... I don't have the hand to do something good with, so I wish you good luck if you want to try to use this software uh, to generate your own uh, musical uh, clip from neural network. When I was write all the parameter, I will click on generate prompt. You see it's very fast, now it's done already. I exit, and if I go in the result folder, it was create me two uh, text file this one and this one and if I open for example this one here you see what when I was written you write nothing when there is no sound and suddenly at the moment of the wave he adds the term he put a 3 plus if the volume is high he put 1 plus if the volume is medium and he put nothing if there is nothing this is uh, how it's configured in the software and uh, the stable diffusion model uh, must understand that when there is one plus it means that it needs to make it more strong and when there is three plus it means that uh, it's much much stronger every line is an image according uh, to the frame uh, frame rate that we want so this is a frame this is the next frame this is a frame of a video which will be the clip of our music if i go in the anti-prompt well, it will be nothing, it will be always the same because it's, it is what I was writing. So you have this and this is for uh, what is this software. If uh, it's the only thing you're interested in, you can exit the video now because uh, it's over. We know how works the software. But uh, if you want to go see the next part of the process to produce uh, the musical clip, uh, I will show you, no problem. So what I can do it's to copy this and then I have to put it somewhere else in another software which I was created uh, which you can find also on my YouTube channel but uh, you can use also your own one I will exit this, it's useless okay so this is a software which permits to do image to image from a uh, thing, so I, I, I copy, right, right. So now I have these files, they have all the frame description, and now I have this software I will use. This software, uh, so I open it, and I will use the model deliberate here, which is selected, save tensor, which you can download on CVTL. For more information, uh, I will put you the link to the video which explains how works this one software if you want to use it to do the full process. So I open it. It will take some time. Here we go, it's opened. So it, it's very easy and true. Uh, again, uh, you need to see the other video to understand how it's work, but here I can write my first file. Uh, the boss software I show you, the free, the open source, you can download them on the GitHub and I will put you the link in the video description. So I put the name of the first one, I will put the name of the second one. Here we are. After I need to choose parameters, so I will put 20 step, I will put uh, 0.45, I don't know, I will put 0.5. And here is the science which I miss to choose the great parameters, to choose the great prompt description also, to really have something following the music. 
actually it didn't success i will try many times i hope i will success i hope you will success please say me in the comment uh, if you success and give me the link to your video that i can see that this concept was work i'm really interested it will start from this image and it will modify it with an image to image uh, process uh, according to the description in the files frame after frame it will generate me all the image now i just need to click on by file and here you see it start to work and there and you will generate all the image one after one here in this folder i uh, i'm afraid i was uh, do mistake it's only gray i hope it will not stay gray it would be sad the only thing i can do if i open it ah no it starts to look like an army it's okay but uh, the color ah yes because it is in negative ah i start to have color this is good so i come back and we will see what it is give at the end Welcome back. So now it's finished. It has generated 911 pictures. I have them here. Here I have a little script. I can open it with Kate. It's used the software uh, FFmpeg, uh, which permits to compile all the image, images in the folder into uh, an M MP4 file. So I will use it. First, uh, I will uh, close my software. No, I don't need anymore. And now I start the script compile. Now it's producing my video. Here I have. Actually, it's a video without sound where there is soldier and it's move and there is color and it's appear. It's supposed to be according to the sound, especially the color as you will see, the coefficient, the wage of the, the color was uh, changed by the um, spectrum. But uh, it appeared like I didn't have put the good parameters, so there is a sort of convergence, uh, stabilization of the background, and that it's not good. It's exactly what I was saying to you, I'm not so good for this. So now that I have the clip and that I have the music, I can open a software called uh, Caden Live. Here, Caden Live. Uh, Caden Live, it's a software to create videos. I can put inside my video. Uh, change the resolution. Uh, no. Okay, I have my 36 second video. Now I need to go back, take my sound. Uh, my sound, my sound. Here. So I take my cap. Nope. Here. Okay. And here I have the bad, bad news. It's a 30 second instead of 36. Means that there is a problem during the compilation of the video didn't follow the same rate or something like this but it's not a very big big trouble because i can arrange this with Caden live at first i put my video then i put my music and now i will try to make the video correspond to the music for this i will change the speed so i will try to improve the speed of 10 percent first Yet, of um, 20, so. Ah, that's almost perfect. Almost. <laughs> well, it's okay, we will not see any difference. Okay, so now we have uh, here the sound and the video at the same time, and we can just produce uh, this video. I will put in MP4, sound filter, etc to the file and now there is a compilation process it's uh, slow but not so much slow so well, I will 
Ok, then the, the process is finished. Exit this, exit this. No, no, I don't care. Here is my video, so I can open it. And we're supposed to have Capitaine the Capitaine Probably there is some music more uh, adapted. Ah, uh, see, you will see how it was turned blue when the sound was turned uh, here. Again. So you have the possibility to do this. But uh, you need to be smart. <laughs> Smarter than me for the configuration. I guess there is many experiments to do. Choose the good frequencies, choose the good prompt, choose the good uh, step, uh, parameters for the image to image change, etc. To have something more fluid, not only for the most extreme case. Here it's really, really visible how it influences the sound. Very well, that's finished for this video. I join you all the links for the first software, the second. Uh, and uh, I wish you good luck. Probably also if you choose a better music, more not better. I mean, with more rhythm, more or less uh, fluid, you will have something uh, more adapted. Good luck, everyone. Bye.